In the annals of classical music, George Frideric Handel stands tall, not only for the sheer quality and volume of his compositions but also for the life he led and the stories that surround him. One of the most delightful and enduring of his creations is that water music, a suite of pieces brimming with zest, elegance, and the gentle ebb and flow of the Thames River upon which it was first performed. The composer behind the music. Handel was born in 1685 in Halle, Germany. He started composing when he was about 18 years old. As a young man, he traveled extensively, honing his craft in cities like Hamburg, Florence, and Rome. By the age of 21, he had already produced operas, church music, and other compositions. In 1712, when he was 27, Handel decided to settle in England, where he would go on to establish himself as one of the country's premier composers. By the time water music came into being, Handel had already enjoyed considerable success in England, particularly in the realm of Italian opera. A Serenade on the Thames The exact circumstances that led to the composition of the water music are shrouded in legend and lore, but the most widely accepted account tells of a grand evening in 1717. King George I, perhaps looking to strengthen his public image in connection with his subjects, requested a concert on the River Thames. Handel was chosen to compose the music for this unique event. Imagine the scene, as the sun set, the king and his entourage aboard a royal barge, followed by a flotilla of boats filled with Londoners eager for music and spectacle. As the boats floated down the river, Handel's water music filled the air, played by a group of about 50 musicians on another barge. The suite's lively dances, elegant harmonies, and catchy tunes were so captivating that the king reportedly asked for it to be played two times in the night of its premiere, and again the following day. The music itself. Handel's water music is far from being a monolithic or uniform composition. Instead, it blossoms as a mosaic of spirited dances and melodious airs, each piece drawing inspiration from diverse musical traditions and encapsulating a broad spectrum of emotions. Within this musical assortment, you'll encounter hornpipes, invigorating compositions so full of life and rhythm that they can irresistibly beckon even the most reserved listener to tap a foot or sway and dance. But, water music is not just about vivacity, it also offers more stately and tranquil pieces that transport listeners to an era of grace and elegance. Through its varying melodies and rhythms, the suite crafts a vivid auditory tapestry of an epic where music was a universal bridge, a magical medium that brought together monarchs, maestros, and the masses in moments of shared delight and camaraderie. Legacy Today, water music remains one of Handel's most beloved compositions. It's a testament not only to his genius as a composer but also to his ability to understand and cater to his audience. Beyond the music, the story of its premiere reminds us of the unifying power of music to bring together people of all walks of life in shared celebration. In the end, Handel's Water Music is more than just a suite of lovely tunes, it's a historical snapshot, a reflection of its times, and a vibrant echo of the days when music could set a river alight with joy.